0.7.13 software is all about making patching easier. So let's take a look at some of the new features. If we tap setup and then go to add fixtures, you'll notice in here we've got a create new fixture option. And if we click next, this allows us to access the Xeros fixture creator. In here, you can specify how many channels your fixture has, and you can go and choose what each of those uh, channels is. And you can specify information such as default values and sell information if it's a multi cell fixture. And once you've gone through that quick and easy process, give your fixture a name and RDM information if necessary. And if you click OK, you can then go ahead and patch that fixture. Now, as well as creating new fixtures, you can also find an existing fixture, click Next, and then go ahead and click Edit. And that will open this fixture in the Xeros editor, where you can then go and make changes if you want to, to the parameters. You could then give it an updated name if you want to. And once you've done that, you can either save it to the library on the console as a new version, or you can actually export the fixture in the ZFix format to a USB drive for you to then load into a different console, for example. Now, if we pop back to the first page of Add Fixtures, you'll notice that in our Manufacturer column, we've got our recently used fixture types pinned to the top. And within those particular fixture manufacturers, we have got models from that manufacturer also pinned. So you can very quickly and easily patch fixtures that you've already used. If there are fixtures currently pinned that you're no longer using, go to Clear Options and go ahead and say Unpin. That will allow you to get rid of those fixtures that you're no longer using. Fixture search in Add Fixtures is now both across the manufacturer and the model column. So you can just simply put one search string in and that will search both of those columns for you. Xeros now supports the GDTF file format, which means you can go and download a GDTF file from either the fixture manufacturer's website or the GDTF share. And once you've downloaded it from the GDTF share, you can go and transfer it to your console and load in that fixture in the GDTF format. There are many other features and improvements in Xerox 7.13, so go ahead and download it. And if you've got any questions, just check out the Very Light support page. Mm -hmm.